So we have a nice uh, lady here coming in for a bulge in her abdominal wall. This is a very common referral that uh, surgeons get for a bulge, which even doctors automatically assume is a hernia. But she has a classic and very good example of diastasis recti, which is a separation of her six pack muscles. She is a weightlifter, so you can kind of see her six pack muscles here on the side. You can see a little spacing underneath there. She actually has a very small hernia here, but the majority of her bulge is from her diastasis recti, which is a separation of the six pack muscles. Again, this is her left rectus abdominis muscle there, her right rectus abdominis here. Um, all right, let me, have, she's laying down, so let me have you do a sit up. You can see this bulge there. So, all right, relax. <laughs> so there's the way to distinguish between a hernia, which is a hole, little hole in the abdominal wall is that there's a little hole, like a little rim that you can feel. So when I push down on her umbilical hernia, I can feel a little ridge of tissue around it. But this bulge here, which is the diastasis recti, there's no defect, there's no hole. It's just separation of the six pack muscles, a weakening of it, but it still causes a bulge. So there's no real surgery for this. I mean, people can get a tummy tuck by a plastic surgeon, but that's not covered by insurance. Um, uh, the, this small hernia, which is not bothersome, you can still fix it because it'll get larger if she doesn't get it fixed. Um, there's also risk of incarceration of a piece of intestine. Um, so that we usually recommend getting hernias fixed, but it's not gonna fix this, the larger bulge, which is why she came to see me for So this is a very good example of diastasis recti versus a hernia. So let me have you sit up one more time. So, so you can see the bulge there for the diastasis. Okay, relax. Yeah, all right, pretty good.